The film begins with the famous boxer, Reuben Carter, who fans believe will become the greatest boxing champion in the world. Where we watch him defeat his opponent amid the cheers of the fans and after many years we see Reuben in prison and he looks angry because of his fear that his autobiography book will be stolen, as it is the only way to clear him of all false accusations. Back in 1966 in New Jersey, we see two black men driving a white car and entering a nightclub to three white men, and there were two other men as witnesses to this incident. Late in the evening, the police arrested Reuben and another man in a white car because he looked like the criminals. Reuben is shown to one of the still-living victims, who assures them that Reuben did not shoot. Then an Italian investigator named Della Pesca appears, who seeks as much as possible to make the man accuse Reuben because he has a history of enmity with him and ends up imprisoning him. In prison, Reuben begins working on his autobiography, and seven years later we see a young boy named Lesra in a second-hand bookstore in Canada buying his book, Round 16. The cover of the book includes a black man like himself. Lesra has been living a happy life with his little family that includes three idealistic young men Sam, Lisa, and Terry. Lesra begins reading the book with pleasure and delves into his childhood where he had to get used to the cruelty or he wouldn't go on with his life. And it turns out that the turning point in his life was when a corrupt official tried to harass one of his friends, so he threw a bottle at his head, and when the man caught him, he stabbed him. He was arrested as a result and this was the first time he had met Della Pesca. He was imprisoned and the case was transferred, but the 11-year-old tried to steal the golden watch that was in the hands of the man, and as a result of his resistance, he killed him. He was imprisoned until he reached the age of 21, when Lesra remembered his real family, where he lived in poverty in Brooklyn, and despite his intelligence, he could not pursue his education because of racism. However, Sam, Lisa, and Terry showed up and tried to convince his father to let him move. He agreed because he saw his son's enthusiasm to study. Returning to a book, and after eight painful years, Reuben escapes from prison, and despite the cruelty, he has achieved many accomplishments, starting with overcoming stuttering, joining the US Army and winning the title of European Army Boxing Champion. And one day he meets a girl in the cafe named May Thelma and they fall in love with each other immediately and decide to get married. Della Pesca appears to him and takes him to prison, where he never communicates with anyone, but spends his time training to become a world boxing champion. And in 1961 Reuben was released, and he promised himself never to go back to prison again. With continuous training, he managed to defeat many of his opponents one by one and qualified for the final match of the world championship. During that time Lesra asks his friends to bring him a punching bag due to being influenced by Reuben. In the final match, although Reuben outperformed his opponent, he lost the battle due to the racist referee. That same night, he met a fan in a coffee shop and treated him kindly. He asked him to drive his car, but unfortunately for them, they were arrested. When they are taken to the scene of the crime, we find witnesses who assure him that Reuben is not the criminal, but that because they were threatened by Della Pesca they agreed to give false testimony against him in exchange for their freedom. In court he was sentenced to life imprisonment, and he was jailed for the third time. He refuses to wear prison clothes because he is innocent and the judge asks that he be sent to solitary confinement for three months without even permission to shower. After this time has passed, he is visited by Mr. Williams, a guard who respects him, and he offers to dress him in prison hospital clothes. Reuben agrees, thanks him for his help and then heads off to take a shower to get back to normal. He begins to study the details of his case from the beginning until the verdict of life imprisonment. He continued for seven years looking for a way to prove his innocence, but he did not succeed. In the year 1976 he received the support of the people and many big celebrities such as Muhammad Ali and others. Then May Thelma comes to visit him, believing that the time is right for an appeals court, but he tells her that his last court was rejected like the last two. Desperate, he asks his wife to ask for a divorce because he will never get out of prison, so she breaks down and leaves. Meanwhile, Lesra asks to find a solution to release Reuben, but his friends refuse. Therefore, he decided to write him a letter showing him that he believed in his innocence and that his life had changed since he read his book. Reuben answered him immediately because he found him honest. In the second message, he asks to meet him, and he agrees. Lesra travels to the United States and Reuben tells him that he gives himself hope. Then he tells him how he met his friends and they helped him learn to read and write so that he could have a bright future. He encouraged him to continue studying. They take a photo and he leaves. 
Since that time, they continue to meet each other, as Reuben regained his faith in humanity and started communicating with people in a better way. On the other hand, Lesra managed to persuade his friends to visit Reuben. When they visited him, they inquired about his case, specifically about the procedures of the Court of Appeal, in search of a way to release him, but after the disappointments he received, he feels that it is better if he loses hope, but they encouraged him to continue the fight. These words made him upset and leave the place. After a while he receives images from Canadians as good people, but a voice in his mind tells him not to trust white people. Eventually they become friends and keep meeting, but not for long, where after losing the Court of Appeals for the third time, he asked them not to send letters ever, because their love for him makes him weak. An entire year passes without any meeting or follow-up on the case. However, one day a package comes to him from Lesra containing a picture with his new girlfriend, as well as his high school diploma. A few days later Reuben called them to tell them that he couldn't take prison anymore, and soon he got a call from them telling him that they had moved to New Jersey and were sitting in a building and could see him from the prison, assuring him that they will only leave together. Without wasting any time, the group visits Reuben's lawyer, Myron Bedlock, to get more information. They turn out to be very nice and he tells them that many famous people have followed the case for 10 years, but failed because it is too difficult. But Lesra and his friends get what they want and get lots of documents, then they visit Reuben to get information about the night of his arrest. It was discovered that the crime was committed at 2.45 minutes, while Reuben left the club at 2.30 minutes. And Reuben reminds John Artis of the boy who was imprisoned because of him, as it turns out that a man named Alfred Bello who lives on the street had witnessed the crime, but he left the city and no one could find him. The three spend several months examining evidence, but they manage to find the whereabouts of Alfred Bello. They go to him to find a nice lady, who tells them that Reuben is not the king. Alfred Bello had told the police several times that Della Pesca was the reason behind this. It was mysteriously disposed of just before the trial and the culprit is assumed to be Della Pesca. In another place, we find Della Pesca suddenly in front of them and threatens them that they will die if they continue to investigate. But that made them more determined to pursue the case. Back at the prison, Lisa informs Reuben of their activities and he in turn informs her about the private detective Rubel, who has been appointed by the district attorney and has presented many clues but to no avail. Reuben believes that he hid his document somewhere to protect himself, after that they find his location, only to realize that he died before the trial, as his daughter told them the location of his documents, to find a recording of a call to emergency worker Jane Wall at 2.28 that night to report the shooting fire, and this is strong evidence for a change of judgment if they can prove it. The report is signed by Mrs. Lennox who turns out to be Jane Wall's supervisor. They also visit her, but she refuses their help to avoid trouble. On the other hand, we find Reuben's shock when he realizes Della Pesca's handwriting on the report, only to discover that it was not signed by the supervisor. Later Della Pesca fulfills his threats, as the three return to the house, it turns out that he broke the tire of the car, so they hit a wall, but no one was hurt. In prison he is visited by Bedlock and Friedman. He encourages them to present new evidence to the federal court. But Bedlock warned him that if new evidence was presented to the federal court it would most likely be rejected, and by law he would not allow another appeals court, but he eventually persuaded them. Reuben later bids farewell to his friend and the other inmates before heading to federal court. There the judge first warns them of the consequences of their work. Bedlock tells him that the chief detective has resigned because he found out that the case was based on lies and their testimony confirms that the culprit is not Reuben but some corrupt cops. The judge is giving them two options to send the case back to a New Jersey appeals court if they can prove their evidence in federal court. But Reuben wants to continue. On the other hand, we find the second private party claiming that Reuben has undergone jury trials, but both failed, which turns out to be a threat to society. While Bedlock and Friedman announce that he has been imprisoned on the basis of racial discrimination by Della Pesca and some corrupt authorities. In granting Reuben permission to defend himself, he says he has unjustly spent 30 years in prison, he also asks the judge not to disregard the law and embrace the higher principle that the law seeks. After taking a break in court, we go back a few days before court, where Reuben expresses his gratitude to Lesra for his efforts and love. We return to court where Reuben has finally been released after 30 painful years unjustly spent in prison. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to watch more videos like this.